Hello, my name is Dr. Kathy Budman. I am a professor of psychiatry at the Hofstra Northwell School of Medicine, and I am a specialist in Tourette syndrome. I will be speaking to you about a very common problem, a very troublesome problem called explosive outbursts and its occurrence in Tourette syndrome. Explosive outbursts and Tourette. First, let's discuss what are explosive outbursts, because there's a lot of confusion about these symptoms. When I talk about explosive outbursts, I'm not discussing mere temper tantrums. Temper tantrums are fairly common in young children and toddlers. But the types of symptoms that we see and we designate as explosive behaviors or explosive outbursts are actually age inappropriate, very excessive displays of anger and aggression. It can be verbal anger, it could be physical aggression, but the main key point here is these are no longer age appropriate behaviors. So a temper tantrum in a 14 year old that results in destruction of property is quite different in, in its physiology and its developmental appropriateness to the temper tantrums and breath holding spells you might see in a two and a half year old. Impact of outbursts. There are many challenges that people with Tourette syndrome face. Tics and OCD symptoms, learning problems, sleep problems, but there really is no symptom that is quite like explosive outbursts in terms of its really horrible effect on relationships with others and on self-esteem. No one suffers more than the person who experiences these uh, explosive behaviors. At the same token, it's extremely hard to have ongoing relationships when aggression is an unpredictable part of that. So as one can imagine, these types of symptoms are extremely disruptive. They impact on family relationships, they impact negatively on peer relationships, and certainly you could imagine in a classroom, uh, they're, they're extremely disruptive and, and lead to all sorts of social estrangement and even bullying. So, what do we do about these explosive outbursts, these terrible symptoms that have actually been linked as uh, one of the number one causes for residential placement of children with Tourette? Strategies. The first thing is to figure out what is actually causing the explosive outburst, because explosive outbursts are a symptom, just like fever or headache. It's a symptom, but it's not actually a diagnosis. So the most important thing to do when your child or other uh, adolescent or adult starts experiencing these symptoms is to get a really good diagnosis, a really good comprehensive evaluation. It could be generated by medication side effects, for example. It could be a consequence of bullying. It could be due, more commonly, to a combination of what we call psychiatric co-occurring conditions, such as obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and certainly mood disorders very commonly result in explosive outbursts as well. So the most important first step is identifying the cause or causes of this particular symptom. Inadvertently, parents often attribute explosive outbursts to Tourette and feel that this is an uncontrollable symptom, but it's not. And it's very important to understand that because inadvertently, parents may accommodate this symptom and that in a sense fuels the explosive outbursts. So the most important first step is to identify the causes and then to work, really partner with the child or adult who has this symptom in reaching a good solution. During the actual explosive outburst episode, it's really difficult to intervene. The best thing at that time is for everyone to remain calm, don't increase stimulation, and try, try to let things settle down. The best time to intervene is during that period of calm when everyone can think more productively about good solutions and alternatives and, and to maybe identify risk factors and precipitating stresses that might be able to be amenable to early intervention so that the explosive outbursts can be curtailed or avoided altogether. 
For more information, please visit the Tourette Association website at Tourette.org.